waves and spectra. So creating realistic waves in uh, computer graphics uh, isn't always easy and um, unfortunately it's quite um, easy to spot uh, fake uh, CG uh, waves. Now uh, the question is what is it that um, makes some uh, effects animation waves look fake and uh, what is the solution to uh, fixing uh, the problem? Well the first issue is identifying what specifically makes them uh, look uh, unreal. Now to understand this uh, it's important to realize that uh, different objects, materials have different natural frequencies and uh, you can um, hear this uh, if you take two objects that have uh, different materials and here I'm going to take a metal baseball bat and a wooden baseball bat and you have them uh, vibrate, for example dropping them on the floor and uh, note the different uh, frequencies of vibration and we'll do that by just listening to the sound uh, and the pitch of the sound waves as they um, uh, vibrate. So I'm going to drop a metal bat and a wooden bat to the floor. Uh, it's, this works best if you just look away from the screen and just listen carefully um, so that uh, you're just listening rather than watching what I'm doing. So hopefully you realize that I first dropped the metal uh, bat and then I dropped the wooden bat and they sound uh, very different. Now to be more quantitative uh, they sound different because they produce sounds of different frequencies and we can measure that by measuring the spectrum of the sound. Um, we can do this for waves in general uh, but let's do that for uh, different sounds using a spectral analyzer. So we're going to uh, take a variety of sounds and look at the resulting spectra which is how much amplitude they have in the various frequencies. So let's start with a musical instrument. Uh, here is the uh, recording. Now let's listen to a guitar and this has a much more complicated uh, spectrum but again there's a variety of uh, peaks in the spectrum at the different frequencies of the sound. And here's even some simple instruments like a whistle. And uh, finally, let's listen to some human and animal sounds, a uh, cat meowing and my imitating the meow. Uh, this is one of my cats, uh, Jackie. Now if we look at the spectra produced by 
uh, musical instruments, even when an instrument's playing a single note, um, it doesn't just produce a single frequency, but it produces a spectrum of frequencies, uh, mostly overtones of that note. So, for example, when a flute is playing uh, the note A, which is uh, 436 hertz, then the resulting um, sound waves uh, have some amplitude at that frequency and at twice that frequency and three times that frequency and, and so forth. And in fact, this uh, explains why when different instruments play the same note, even though they, are they produce these uh, various frequencies, the entire spectrum of the sound produced by, say, a guitar when it plays a note is different from, say, a bassoon or an alto saxophone uh, playing that uh, same note. And this unique spectrum that you have with a musical instrument is the instrument's signature, which is uh, called the uh, timbre or uh, the tone color. Now, the point is that uh, just as different instruments have a unique uh, musical signature, uh, we also identify uh, waves, say water waves, uh, with a uh, unique signature as well. Uh, so if we consider uh, ocean waves and the different uh, spectrum that's observed in terms of the different wavelengths and frequencies uh, of the waves, uh, the calmer C at uh, Beaufort Force uh, 2 has a very different spectrum than um, the choppier Cs at uh, Force 6 or the uh, extremely uh, heavy Cs at, at Force 11. And in fact, here's a um, the wave spectra of uh, ocean waves at um, different conditions. So when we have uh, low winds and the um, sea is relatively calm, not only are the waves uh, small, but they also uh, have a broad spectrum across frequencies. As the seas get um, higher and choppier, uh, we have um, a peak that develops at low frequencies. Remember, low frequencies uh, indicate long wavelengths. So uh, as the winds pick up, we get uh, more and more of these very long uh, waves in the um, spectrum of the ocean. Now, it's um, rather difficult to uh, use scale models uh, to create these uh, spectra because the uh, conditions that uh, affect the spectrum, such as uh, not just the wave speed, but the surface tension of the water, the viscosity, uh, so forth, uh, are ra rather difficult uh, to scale. Um, we can see this in um, an old uh, film from the early 80s, uh, Clash of the Titans, and in this case, the tidal wave scenes are created using scale models. So at this point, the monster is about to be um, released. And um, here, the city is about to be uh, destroyed as the monster is released. So this is a uh, composited with um, uh, some scale models in the in the city. So the waves are coming here in a moment. So here is the the monster's name is the Kraken. So the this is supposed to be a um, gigantic um, monster, but this was done just with some scale models. Now these are real ocean waves, uh, but these are fake 
in the sense that it's just a scale model ocean waves. This is some real ocean wave footage, but this is scale model with um, composited. Again, scale model. Again, scale model. Um, and uh, there's just elements of the um, in some cases they just turn to fire hose on people but uh, uh, but in, in cases where we have the um, larger tidal wave scenes uh, the spectrum just doesn't uh, look quite uh, correct even with tricks of using um, high-speed photography it's not quite possible to capture the the correct spectrum uh, more recent uh, remake of this film using modern um, computer graphics it's uh, possible to do a much better job of creating believable waves so here is the um, comparable scene of the release of the monster uh, the monster looks quite different um, in this uh, newer film looks and here we see the uh, computer-generated uh, ocean and the computer-generated tidal wave and these waves and these uh, are much more successful in capturing the correct timing and spectrum of uh, large ocean waves. Mostly done using large fluid mechanics simulations that uh, make it easier to uh, produce the correct spectrum of waves. Now, finally, there's uh, a type of uh, wave spectrum called uh, noise, and noise is characterized by having a fairly uh, flat uh, spectrum. That is, it's more or less uniform intensity across a broad range of frequencies. Uh, so if it's more or less flat, then it's said to be a white noise. Uh, white is in analogy with uh, white light, which has uh, more or less uh, uniform uh, spectrum across uh, frequencies and, and wavelengths. Uh, so here's a case where I'm producing a um, white noise by just crumpling a paper bag or plastic bag and you see that the spectrum of the sound is more or less flat um, here's another noise this one's produced by a pair of Siamese cats um, this one's not perfectly flat but it's it's flat over a broad range So you see this flat plateau of, um, so instead of many distinct, instead of distinct peaks, it's more or less a flat um, plateau, which is characteristic of uh, noise. These guys are certainly noisy. So in uh, summary, objects of different materials and uh, shapes uh, vibrate at their own set of natural frequencies. A spectral analyzer measures the different frequencies and uh, gives you that uh, wave spectrum. Uh, so we saw that for different types of sound, but you can do that for all types of um, waves to see the amplitude at each frequency. Musical instruments have a spectral signature uh, called the timbre. Uh, also known as the tone color, so um, it's quite natural that uh, each musical instrument um, sounds uh, different even when playing the same uh, note uh, because of this um, signature. 
uh, ocean waves and other natural wave phenomena have uh, similar uh, spectral signatures and uh, from seeing uh, real ocean waves and, and say waves of a uh, uh, on fabric or a flag uh, waving in the wind, um, we recognize the frequencies uh, that occur in nature and so when those are incorrectly uh, produced, if the spectrum is incorrect, it um, looks uh, incorrect just as a um, ukulele doesn't sound like a uh, piano. Um, and then uh, finally spectral signature varies with uh, material properties and uh, with scale. So um, this is the reason why it's uh, quite different, difficult to uh, create uh, believable uh, ocean waves or um, other types of waves uh, using uh, scale models.